So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem find common nodes in two BSTs. So basically we are given two binary search trees and we need to find the nodes that are common in both of them that is find the intersection of two BSTs. Now we need to return the common nodes in sorted order. For example if you look up this BST as well as this BST nodes 4, 7, 9 and 10 are common. So we will need to return this and this will be in a sorted order. So I hope you have understood the problem. Let's discuss this problem in more detail. Here node 4, 7, 9 and 10 are common. Now in order to do this, what we can do, we can use any of the traversal techniques. Basically you can use a in order traversal and store all the nodes of this tree. Okay. So our in order traversal will store 0, 1, 4, 5, 7, 9 and 10 because you know for BST the in order traversal is sorted right so this will be our in order traversal for the first tree. Now for the second tree what you can do you can again iterate on this and you can find the nodes which are already existing in our in order traversal. So for that let's say we can store our in order traversal in a map kind of thing so that we also have the frequency of elements because it might happen right that one is repeating two times and one is there two times as well so we will need to output one two times so we will be taking a map of intent type and we will be storing the frequencies and the elements together for the in order traversal of the one of the trees so for the first tree our map will look something like this so 0 will have a frequency 1 1 will have a frequency 1 4 will have a frequency 1 similarly 5 will have a frequency 1 7 will have a frequency 1 9 will have a frequency 1 and 10 will have a frequency 1 now for the second bst we need to find the common nodes which are already there in the first bst so we will again do a in order traversal but this time what we can do we can check whether let's say let's say we will be having 10 at first so we will be comparing like the frequency of 10 is greater than 0 yes it is so let's store 10 in our answer now we will go on to the left 7 is there yes it is so let's store 7 but after storing 7 or 10 you should decrement the frequency so it will be 0 it will be 0 and while storing you can do a small check like if it is already existing in the map and its frequency should be greater than 0 right now you go to 4 its frequency is greater than 0 so store 4 here and for 9 its frequency is greater than 0 so you again store 9 right so at last our common nodes array will be storing let's say for that we can store all the nodes in common nodes vector and we will be having all the nodes now we need to return these nodes in a sorted order so for that what we can do we can simply sort this common nodes array and we can return this common nodes array okay so that is going to be the solution basically for this we are using an in order traversal that will be taking order of n time again for this we will be using a in order traversal so that will be taking an order of n time so and also the space complexity for this problem is going to be order of n because we are using a map in order to store all the nodes right so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the implementation so first of all this is going to be my in order function basically we will be checking if root is going to be null we will simply return otherwise we can call the in order on the left subtree we can store the frequencies in the map and we can now call in the right subtree because in, in order we go on to the left first then the root node and then the right node okay now similarly here what we have done we have taken an answer vector we have declared a map which is basically what are the nodes possible in tree 1 and we will be calling the in order function for the tree 1 right so we will be passing it root 1 and nodes in tree 1 so nodes in tree 1 is passed as a reference so it will be storing all the things and when we go on to the next line which is common nodes we will be having all the nodes present in root 1 okay and nodes in tree 1 now here we can again check if my root is going to be null we can simply return now the check is that 
if the frequency of the current node is going to be greater than 0 we can store that in our answer and we can decrement the count okay now similarly we can call for the left subtree and we can call for the right subtree and we can sort our answer at the end and we can return our answer so i hope you have understood the problem if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys